Hey everyone, I'm back with another video this week. Today I wanted to talk about Line and the artist Bryce Martin. Bryce Martin is an American artist who's alive now, and he does very large paintings with a lot of squiggly lines. So I made a slideshow to show you some of this. Here's Bryce Martin in his studio in front of one of his very large paintings. And you can see all the lines that he's included in there and they're sort of meditative and smooth but gestural. You can see the path that his arm has taken. And he's interesting in the way that he paints. He sometimes uses sticks or very long brushes to make the marks on his paintings. Sometimes he makes rules about his paintings, like he can only use six lines or three colors. How many color lines do you see in here? I see yellow and red and blue and a light green, I think. So maybe four. Can you pick one of the lines and trace it with your finger or your eyes? See where it goes, what it crosses, how far it goes. Is it all one line? I think it's all connected. It's called a continuous line. That's when you're drawing and you don't lift up your pencil. You just keep on going. Which line do you think he did first? Did he do the yellow line first? I don't know. Well, the yellow line goes over the red line. So the red line had to be there before the yellow line. But the blue line goes over the yellow line. I wonder which line he did last. A lot of questions. A famous art critic wrote an article about some of Bryce Martin's paintings, and he said that they looked like snakes in a box or a lot of spaghetti. And I really like that image. And this painting is called Cold Mountain Six Bridge. And you can see this. Here in San Francisco, you can go to the SF MoMA and you can see this painting. It's very big, it's taller than me, and it's really wide. If you spread your arms, it's probably like five of you wide. And it's based on an old Chinese poem by Han Shan. And Han Shan is the name of the poet, but his name also means cold mountain. And this painting was about monks walking through the forest, looking for peace and enlightenment, like a peaceful feeling. It was said that if they crossed the stone bridge, they might achieve that. So that's why it's called Cold Mountain Six Bridge. He did a lot of cold mountain paintings. He was very famous for those. Bryce Martin was interested in how the paintings were written in the Chinese calligraphy and the way you could see the mark that your hand makes when you write with ink and a brush in calligraphy. And he was thinking about that when he did these paintings, how the lines move and how they make up a poem. What does it make you think of? Is it kind of like a dance or a maze? Something I like about it, if you look at the detail here, this is a really close up picture I took of the painting. You can see these lines that sort of were drawn and painted and then painted over, almost erased. And those are the ghost lines. They're like ghosts of things that happened in the past. And that's sort of a nice thing to think about when you look at these paintings. So we looked at some of Bryce Martin's paintings using lines. And what I want you to think about is those big long lines that he made, the continuous lines, that he didn't lift his paintbrush or his stick or whatever he was drawing with. And he just kept going. I'd like you to get a piece of paper and something to draw with or paint with if you have paints and see how long a line you can make on your paper. I want you to fill the paper, start in one place and just keep going. And you can go over lines and in all the corners and everywhere, just make sure it's all one line. And if you forget, that's okay. Just put your pencil back down where you stopped and keep on going. And when you're done with that, 
see what you think. Are there areas you want to color in? Are there areas that you want to add more lines to or make something out of? I used a black crayon to make the longest line I could with lots of curves and twists and going over other lines and around and sharp turns and easy turns and I pressed hard and then I pressed light to do lots of things with the crayon. When I was done, I looked at it and decided I wanted to add some colors. I made a rule for myself. I could only use three colors, yellow and orange and blue. And I started coloring interesting shapes that I liked. And after a while, I decided to break my rule. And I added the yellow and the blue and mixed them to make a little green. And I just kept going until I decided it was done. But this is your line. It's the path your hand follows. And what you want to do with it is up to you. You could make it into something or you could make it into a pattern. You make it what you want. So I hope you had fun playing with lines and thinking about Bryce Martin's paintings. And I can't wait to see what you've made.